What's going on guys? Welcome to the Flight Sim Deck. My name is Patrick, coming at you again with another tutorial. My friend and fellow YouTuber Oz Flight Simmer asked if I could do a tutorial on creating thumbnails, so I'm going to do my best to give you guys some tips on making your thumbnail stand out a little more, maybe get a few more people clicking on it uh, by using these design principles that I'm going to show you. Um, first thing, once you have your video all edited and rendered, if you are using a clip from your video, if not, um, same things will apply, just I'm using a clip from my video and uh, I like to full screen it and go through and try to find a clip. This one I really like because you have enough room to do the text, you have a nice light background, nothing too busy. You never want to put the text on top of objects, in this case uh, the airplane. You wouldn't want to put text over this because it, one, it's going to take away from the image and then the text is going to get a little too busy and it'll be hard to read, especially when it's uh, such a, a smaller image once it's a thumbnail on YouTube. So basically we'd want to put the text in an area like this or an area over here, up here, but never over the objects. And if you have land and stuff like that, you don't want to put text over that. It's just going to be too hard to read. So I like to go through the video and try to find different different clips. I think for this one I actually used this clip and I put the text right in here. This is perfect too. This is a nice, uh, it's like a medium dark background. You either want a nice dark background or a nice light background to put your text in so you can have some good contrast. Um, but I think I'm going to go with the image I had back here, which is the, the Piper here, just like that. Uh, let me play it a little bit. That's... I'm going to go back a little more. I think... Here, let me play it. Perfect. I think I like that. Once you have a frame that you like, hit uh, print screen. It's the key right above the delete and the insert button on your keyboard. Most keyboards, that should be the arrangement. Hit print screen, takes a screenshot of your uh, screen. And then come into Photoshop or any image editing program. You might even be able to pull this off with Microsoft Paint as long as you use these same principles. And uh, if you're using Photoshop, go up to New and hit Edit, Paste, or Control V. Now I have two monitors up right now, so it takes a picture of the first one too. Now I'm using the Crop tool. I'm going to crop the image area. And that's about it. Uh, this is a, a 1080p aspect ratio, and that seems to take on YouTube. Uh, it's a good good size. Um, I forgot what the recommended one is, but I use this size, and it doesn't clip it much at all or anything, so that works. Now we're going to draw a text box, and I'm going to write how to leave that one for now. I'm going to draw another text box. And I'm going to call this one Creating Thumbnails. With an exclamation mark. Right now we're going to reduce this just a little bit. I'm going to bring the text box out even more. And we'll increase the size. I'm going to make this text right here. I'm going to make this black. And I'm going to make the how-to in orange just a little bit bigger so it stands out. People know that it's a how-to video. That's pretty good. I'm going to move that down here. Now, I like to do this symmetrical, so I want enough, the same amount of space here as you see here. So, let me get the, let me get these aligned. Notice I'm putting the same amount of space here as you see here. So everything is consistent in that way. The uh, H goes to the edge of the C, the O goes to the edge of the G, and uh, this is pretty much how it's going to look. You know, you want to use colors that are going to stand out. Being this is a light background, we're using dark text. If you're using uh, a dark background, you're going to want to use light text. And to really make sure people are going to be able to read it, 
I would suggest uh, zooming out to about the size that it's going to be. That's about the size it'll be on YouTube. And uh, when people are scrolling through, they're going to see that. They're going to see the Piper, and they're going to see how to creating thumbnails. Now, I know that's not a, um, a proper sentence, but I have a series called How To, and then the topic I put below it. So that's why I, I word it that way. Um, another rule of thumb is, is it a thumbnail that you would click on? If you were scrolling through and you saw this thumbnail, would it interest you? Would it make you want to click on it? If not, then you might want to rethink the, uh, the frame you're using and maybe rethink the text. Also make sure you can read the text. Um, if we made this text, let's say, white. If we made it white, not orange, but white. And then you zoom out. It's really hard to read. You really can't tell what that's going to say. So definitely want to go with black for good contrast. Use simple fonts too. This is Arial. I like to use Arial. It's a really clean font. Um, if you're having trouble, if you, if you do need to put uh, a dark in front of a in front of some dark text, you can either do an outline in white of the text, or vice versa. You could do an outline that's dark to make it stand out. But I usually don't like to use drop shadows or any of that stuff. Just clean text, and um, you probably want to keep using the same colors over and over for your channel. You, you do want to establish some visual identity in that way to where. Uh, when people see that, they know it's your channel because you're using the same color scheme. So pick some colors and uh, go with those. Nothing nothing too outrageous. Pick some colors that, that will work in most situations. I, I generally use orange and black or orange and white. Uh, those three colors go pretty good with, with anything. And just, yeah, uh, figure out where you're going to put it. Like I said, you can do things symmetrical, like I have the top and the bottom here, pretty much the... Uh, the same, uh, the same amount of space here, it's the same amount of space here. Let me zoom in a little more so you can see that. Um, yeah, just, just do things centered and symmetrical like that. And uh, yeah, again, remember, it, it has to look interesting. If, if you wouldn't click on it, then you got to rethink it. You got to find something that you would click on and that'll, that'll stand out and, and make people want to click on the video. Because they're going to be scrolling through, they're going to see a bunch of thumbnails, they want to see yours. This is a good one. It's got a nice bright yellow piper, and then it's got the text right here saying exactly what the video is, and you can read it from uh, a small thumbnail. All right, guys, that's pretty much everything um, about this. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment, and I will uh, respond to it as soon as I can and uh, help you guys out with this. All right, guys, hope you learned something with this. Hope this helps you out and, and gets you some, some more views on your videos if you use these principles. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys.